Hi, I'm Travis Schultz. I'm the principal of Travis Schultz Law. If people are unsure about downloading the COVID-19 app, what would your advice be to them? So there remains a degree of anxiety and uncertainty around the COVID Safe app. Uh, my advice would be to look into it, research it, and make a decision for yourself as to whether it's right for you and whether you're comfortable with the security measures that have been put in place to protect your personal data. And compared to other apps such as Facebook, uh, how did this one compare? So the COVID Safe app does have a range of measures around it to protect your personal data and your privacy. Um, it's a good thing that there is more legislation coming to enshrine um, the, the privacy around it and to secure it. There remains always a risk, as with any technology, that you could have an exposure through some back end or hacking. But I think with this particular app, that risk is really quite low. And my own personal opinion is that um, the handing over of a very limited amount of data potentially is probably on balance justified by the public good that it can do. Is there a risk of breaching privacy? Well, the, the, there's a great irony around the COVID Safe app and more particularly the anxiety that the public is feeling around whether they should or shouldn't download it, whether it is or isn't safe, because it's really just going to be collecting handshakes through its Bluetooth technology based on the people that you are around. It does not track your location. And the irony in all of this, of course, is that people seem to be concerned and talking about the breach of privacy by the COVID Safe app app, yet there is so much more information being collected by the digital behemoths like uh, Google and Facebook who track our every step, our every movement, our every purchase, our acquisition and, uh, on, the, on the internet. The people we talk to using Facebook Messenger, I mean Google stalk us like no other company, yet we're asking questions about the government having access to who we might have been near in a medical emergency, yet we're happy to send offshore to these digital companies all of this raft of information about us simply because we like to have these things on us and activated 24-7. Kind of odd, don't you think?